Hey guys, welcome back again. I am MJ. In this video, I will show you how to make Windows 11 24H2 ISO bootable pen drive to install. Okay, so before I start my video, let me clear one thing this video is only for education and information purpose. Okay, so let's start. Open any browser in your PC and open the Google. In the Google, just type Windows 11 24H2 download. Open this first link. And here you can check PC health, but we are going to make a bootable pen drive for supported and unsupported PCs. Okay, so scroll down. You need to download the ISO file. So here, download Windows 11 disk image file. That is ISO file. Here, select the download. Select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO for 64 bit. Okay, and then click on download now. And after this. Uh, select your language select english international and then confirm now click on download and that's it this is the iso file of windows 11 just save it where you want so after download complete as you can see i have successfully downloaded this iso file here Win 11 24H2. Okay, see the ISO file, and now it's time to download the bootable pen drive software. So open the Google and here type Rufus and open this first link. This is the official link of Rufus. Okay, close the ad. It's scroll down here to find the uh, download link. So the latest release is 4.5, but here you can see 4.6 beta version. Okay. So download this beta version 4.6 and save it. This is a very small size file, okay? So just simply save it and download it. Now open the Rufus and attach the pen drive, okay? Now it's time to attach your pen drive. And remember, when you using the any pen drive, this will completely remove the data from your pen drive, okay? So it's better to use the empty pen drive. Or if you have any important data in pen drive, then take the backup of your pen drive, okay? Because making the bootable pen drive will delete or erase your entire pen drive data, okay? So Rufus is open now. Here, uh, select your pen drive. As you can see, it's auto direct my pen drive. And select the ISO file. So we have already downloaded the ISO file. So click on select and select the ISO file and click open. And rest of thing, don't disturb it just keep it default and uh, you can change it okay you can change the value name i will give it like uh, when 11 24h2 for easy understanding i will give this name and rest of all these things keep it default and click on start when you click on start you will get the option here like remove requirement for 4gb ram secure boot uh, tpm2 so check on this remove requirement of online microsoft account and check on this uh, create local account you can give any name here you can also check on this set regional option it's up to you to disable data and disable bit lockers it's up to you but for safety purpose i have all checked on okay but if you are making the bootable pen drive for unsupported pc then you must check on this remove requirement remove requirement of online account okay and check on this create local account this three must and should for unsupported pc so check on this and then click ok so here we got the warning all data from the pen drive will be deleted okay so it's better to use the empty pen drive then click on okay and it's starting to make a bootable pen drive of windows 11 24h2 for supported and unsupported pcs okay so wait for some time it will take around five to eight minutes to make a bootable pen drive you will get the ready option here when it's complete okay so wait for it okay done the process is complete now we are ready to use our bootable pen drive as you can see we got the ready option here now close it and after this you can use this pen drive to install the fresh copy of windows 11 for unsupported pc so i will show you my pen drive this is a pen drive as you can see here and this is a all bootable setup okay so if you don't know how to install windows 11 then watch on youtube just type how to install windows 11 
by using bootable pen drive okay or i will make a separate video about how to install the windows 11 24 h2 version okay so thank you for watching guys catch you next video please like share and subscribe thank you very much